watching Quad Cities Live. Out of the five finalists nationwide junior achievement of the Heartland, President and CEO Dougal Nelson is the winner of a major award. Dougal Nelson is joining us now and uh, we appreciate you for being here, yeah. sir. Yeah. This is quite the accomplishment. Thanks for having me Congrats. and thanks for the honor, right? That's very exciting stuff. Now you, uh, we want to, I'm going to pull it up so I don't mispronounce anything. Sure. Uh, it is the 2022 Carl Flemke Pioneer Achievement Award. So tell us all about what that is. Right. That's an award that's given out each year by JAUSA to a president that's had at least two years of service mm -hmm. and no more than six. So what they're looking for are emerging leaders, people that have overcome challenges in the last couple of years and made a significant impact on, on their local organization. And you've definitely done that. Well, thank you. Which is uh, which is great. You've, I, we were reading your coworkers had great things to say about <laughs> you, which is always a plus. Right. Um, but talk about what you've done with JA over these last couple of years as leader. Yeah. Well, I think the first people I really have to thank my staff and my board of directors and really uh, the community volunteers, teachers, and administrators, all those people that work tirelessly to enrich the lives of our students. But, you know, every every organization has challenges. I, I don't, you know, I've never been around one that hasn't. But if you look at it as an opportunity, I think that's where we win. And uh, my staff has been, jumped all over that. When there's been uh, times when it didn't look like the future was so rosy, right. I think we all stepped up and we all made it happen, so. Well, I mean, on top of that, and you know, we've just been in it for so long, so I think a lot of times we forget, but the hurdle, uh, COVID, and right. just kids and, and, and getting right. them, you know, to be excited about something like this when a lot of them were like going to school from home on the computer and things like that. I mean, right. you had a lot of things thrown your way as well over the past couple of years. Sure. You know, those provided, there were some financial challenges, of course, and now we're in a different time where, you know, we're having trouble, and I guess not trouble, but the challenge is volunteers. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the uh, landscape has changed. Um, thankfully, we are back in the schools. We're back in there full time. So. Uh, next year looks good. We recruited over 300 brand new first-time volunteers wow, that's uh, incredible. this year, which was very incredible given the circumstances. So kudos to the education staff that makes that happen. Absolutely, and that was actually one of our questions uh, this afternoon. Um, how does somebody know if they'd be a good fit for a volunteer for JA? Sure. I, I think, you know, it ranges from I need some skills or I have some skills. You know, when we have young people come in and want to volunteer, it really helps them with their presentation skills in the classroom so they can mm -hmm. learn from that. Um, seasoned uh, professionals love to come in and tell our kids what they do. Jake and, and Morgan, you guys would be awesome in the classroom. I know Teresa Bryant's in there yeah. all the yes. time. And, but uh, yeah, it's just a great way to share what you know and help kids find that pathway to, to a career they, they're passionate about, they love, and they enjoy. Because then it's not like they have to go to work, they get to go to work. Right. Well, and sure. you provide good curriculum as well uh, that right. the, the volunteers give out. Would you touch on your curriculum a little bit? Sure. Uh, right now, the curriculum is K through 12. It's mm -hmm. all very kit-based. It's very easy to prepare for. Um, there are some programs that we run that, that don't require a kit, uh, like our career speaker series, where someone would just go in and, and tell them, like I, I just mentioned about their career. But the kit... The kit-based uh, curriculum really makes it very easy to follow through either four, five, six, and sometimes seven or eight lessons for high school students. Very mm. good. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so we talked a lot about volunteers. Once again, congratulations Thank you. to you, Dougal Nelson, for, for that amazing achievement. Yeah. Uh, we want to let everybody know, though, they can head to the website, jaheartland.org, to learn more about becoming a volunteer. Uh, a wealth of information on there. Uh, you can check out some of the tr uh, training materials that are provided as well. Again, that is jaheartland.org. Dougal, thank you. Yes. Thank Congrats you. again. Yeah, you guys are amazing for our community. Thank, thank you. you.